Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav again and in today's session I am going to cover intro questions based on SAS macro and especially I will cover questions on SAS macro debugging options. So let's move on to the next slide. Okay guys, so if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me directly. It will be a three months program and I will cover everything including base SAS, SQL, macros, procedures, functions and if you don't like the course or if you do not get a job within a year you can ask for 100% money back okay enough of advertisement let's move on to the first question all right guys so the question is how to debug a SAS macro so this is the most important question and 95 to 99% interviewer would ask a question on this topic okay let's see the answer so there are three ways to debug a SAS macro that is Symbolgen, Mprint, Mlogic and if you want to disable these options then use no Symbolgen, no Mprint and no Mlogic. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys let's understand these options in detail. So the first is Symbolgen. So what it does, let's first read about it. So it displays information about macro variable reference in the log. Okay, so when we declare any macro variable and when we use a macro variable in our SAS program, so the whatever value is resolving, if you want to see that information in SAS log, we can use Symbolgen. So this is a very good option to debug. Let's understand this by using an example. Here is the example and in this code what we are doing we are enabling the Symbolgen option with the options and we are declaring first macro variable that is age equal 30. Second macro variable we are creating is gender equal m and then we are using proc print to printing the sas user dot admit data set and we are applying a where condition or filtering this data set using variable sex equal gender gender what we have it's m so here we are referencing the macro variable means we are accessing or using macro variable that we have created and then we have end condition and another filter is age greater than equal to m percent age so we are using another macro variable here or we can say referencing macro variable here so the value of these two variable we would be able to see in the log if we use symbolgen so this is the log so this is our program and if you see with the text symbol gen we have the macro variable value resolving to m for gender and 34 age i hope this is clear let's move on to the next slide okay so guys the second option is mprint let's first understand what it is mprint displays the sas statements that are sent to macro processor for execution so sas macro is a separate functionality so when we write a macro in sas those statements are sent to sas macro processor and that macro processor executes those statements so if you want to see what all statements a macro has sent to macro processor you can print those statements in sas log so let's understand this with an example so here is the program that is exactly the same program here this is the log so log also has the same but at the bottom you can see with mprint these are the three lines that have been sent to macro processor so you can see what has sent to macro processor for execution these are the part of normal code that is showing but these statements with mprint we can see has been passed to sas macro processor i hope this is clear let's move on to the next option the third one is mlogic so as the name suggests it will display the information related to logic what logic we use in our program so logical statements are like if statement percent do loop statement so this provide an information about these statements resolution let's read about it first it trace execution and prints the logical execution in the log it displays statements like beginning execution and end execution logical operations values such as percent do loop comma percent if statement and parameters executions so it will display when this option is in effect it will display the message in sas log beginning execution when the program start executing and end execution when the 
the program finishes execution. However, meanwhile, in between whatever logical statements are there, it will show us the values of those uh, statements resolution. Let's understand this by an example. So this is the program. This is slightly different. So here we are using M logic option and we are creating a macro. In that macro PNT data set, we are passing PRNT underscore D name variable that will contain a data set name. And then we have a prop print that is simply printing the data set and in these statements what we are doing we are creating 10 data sets so 1% do loop we are running it from 1 to 10 and in the data step we are creating 10 data sets so data default name is d underscore then we are using i variable macro variable so the data set that would be created would be d underscore 1 d underscore 2 d underscore 3 d underscore 4 so on till 10 data sets only and we are assigning value in every data set that is x equal 10 then run and then the end state statement and percent meant and then we are calling the macro pnt data set and we are passing the name of the data set that we want to print that value would go into this macro variable let's understand this by looking in the log okay so guys this is the log and in this log these are the usual statements however here we can see m logic option so it will show beginning execution the second statement it is showing that in while we are passing parameter what value is passing in parameter so that is showing says user dot admit that is correct then there were 21 observations read from the data set says user dot admit this is for prop print statement that we are using this one then do loop is running so you can see m logic is showing the information regarding do loop so when the loop is starting it is showing information percent do loop beginning so loop is beginning index variable so i is the index variable this is the index variable then start value is one when the loop is running first time the value of i is one and it will be run till 10 so we've given the end value as 10 so this if value goes beyond that the loop will terminate and the increment value is one so we haven't given the increment value but by default it will take one then these type of similar statements are there for 10 times so due to the space issue i have captured only first and the 10th or 11th so if you see here when the loop is executing 10th time the value of i is 10 loop will iterate again message given so we'll understand what is happening it will create a data set in work work d underscore 10 that has one observation because we are writing only one observation so 10 data sets has been created but why it is saying that loop will iterate again because the value is 10 is in our condition so 1 to 10 it will iterate when the value next time it will go and iterate it will check so what value it is checking we can see in our statement do loop index variable i is now 11 and loop will not iterate again so it is saying that this loop will not iterate again and ending execution so these are the information you will see in log when we use m logic so now you can see this loop is running only for 10 times so we can see that it is generating information for every step so you can understand if your loop is running thousand times so this functionality will check that particular loop for thousand times that means it will take a lot of time in the execution so that's why once our program is fine and there is no issue in the program we disable these options so that our processing would become faster so these are the, the three debugging options symbols m print and m logic i hope you guys are clear on these let's move on to the next all right guys topic is finished and i would request you to please subscribe my channel share it like it bye and take care